we're going on a road trip. All right, so we've made it to Playa San Juanillo. We went to north on the coastal road, very rough road. We went through Playa Garza. Playa Guiones. Playa Ostianol. Playa San Juanillo. Yeah. We drove so far, we actually made it to Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> I don't know why that's on the bus in Costa Rica. Maybe, you, do you have an explanation for that, Blaine? Uh, for the back of the bus? Yeah. I think we may have driven to Rio, yeah, I'm think, not sure. It felt like it. <laughs> it yeah. did feel like it. Yeah, but yeah, very rough road. Oh I think we blew our right front strut in our car, so we're gonna have to get that replaced. It was crazy though, because there's like so many river crossings. There's a couple that have bridges. There's a couple that don't. But yeah, we're here now. We're just gonna eat at the Buddha Hotel restaurant and then we're gonna go kind of tour around here and go to the beach, which it looks like a, a dolphin tail. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool to check that out. So it <laughs> to road trips. To road trips. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished lunch here at the Buddha restaurant at the hotel. Really good food. Uh, pricing's not that bad either. I put a little bit of the pricing of the menu in the video there that you saw. And uh, we got a pizza for the boys to take to the beach. I think it's just down the road here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna drive around and see what else there is in town. There's a sign there that says Treetops Restaurant at the Beach. Maybe we should have gone there, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna go down to the beach and go hang out and just chill for the afternoon. All right, so we just got to the beach. It wasn't far from the restaurant. Uh, you kind of loop down the mountain to here, but it's busier than I thought. There's cars everywhere and people everywhere. A lot of uh, Costa Ricans hanging out, enjoying the sun on this Sunday. And yeah, so we're just gonna find a spot on the beach here. Uh, the water, the beach kind of goes out like an inlet, and then uh, there's water on both sides. So I think we're gonna stay to the left. It looks like more sand. Yeah, it's pretty cool out here. Busier than I thought. I'm talking to yourself. Way busier than I thought. I'm not, I'm talking to them. <laughs> To the people. Yeah, you gotta come stay at Sicasa and come to Playa Juan Juan Nilo. I don't know if it's Juan Nilo or Juan Nilo. Is it though? Like sometimes two L's is two L's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
right, so we're just gonna walk to the end down here, climb up on the little mountain up there and get a viewpoint. So that was cool going up there and getting the viewpoint. The guy sitting here in the water. Are you having fun? Yeah. Do you like this water? Yeah. Because there's not big waves. Whoa! <laughs> no, he will. Jaden's just out snorkeling out there. Once they have turns, they're gonna get the snorkel and then switch to the GoPro. Do that now. spotted a cave down here on the other end of the beach so we're gonna go check that out you gonna go in Jaden yeah if it's deep enough I guess are you going in okay yeah there's no bears here <laughs> Thank you. 
other side of the beach now. The little bay over here too. It's actually pretty calm as well. I didn't think it was that calm. It's cool because in behind here, everyone just parks, backs up, and then they can have view of this bay. Pretty cool spot out here. My new favorite, I think. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is pretty great. <laughs> the track here sucks, but it's totally worth it once you get here. You gotta make an all day event you out gotta, of it. You gotta earn it. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. We have. This doesn't come just for free. You gotta earn it. You gotta buy new struts for your car to get here. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a pancreas or a spleen yeah. that fell out along the way. Yeah. All right, so we have made it back home. A little burnt from today. Not much shade where we were, or oh, any shade that there was, it was already taken by the people who got there early. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth the trip. Um, very bumpy road, like I said, which uh, does suck, but it's only an hour and a half from here at Seacasta, so if you come and stay with us, that's definitely a trip you can do if you rent a car or a uh, quad as well. Uh, we're gonna do a quad ride probably in June. Uh, I don't think I'll film it just because we've already done that trip. But yeah, I uh, just wanna thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, your support is awesome. Uh, helps us keep making these videos and going these little excursions and show you all the little different beaches and towns and stuff in Costa Rica. Uh, we are gonna be working on our video that we're gonna be selling that goes over more in-depth stuff as pricing and stuff like that. We haven't had a few people ask us why we don't do pricing on our videos. We want our videos to be a little more timeless once we do pricing. Those pricing can change over time, obviously, so we don't want it to misinform people and have them think that it's gonna be a certain pricing that's not, so that's why we don't do that. But yeah, again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Also, our Patreon link is down below. Our Airbnb links are below if you wanna come stay with us here at Casa, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.